What is up guys? It is Jax from GNBots.com and today we're going to be doing a little how-to video on setting up unlimited farm accounts with the new GNBots 5. So what you're going to see us using in this video is the Mimu Play emulator as well as the new GNBots 5 and then we're also going to be using the synchronizer tool that is built into Mimu. So we are going to just do a couple of accounts to show, but you can ultimately use as many accounts as you want. We're going to set up two at the same time and then show you how you can de uh, copy default settings. Uh, this way you could just knock out uh, whether it's 100 accounts or 500 accounts. Uh, you can do them quickly and the bot is going to be able to handle all that for you. So hope you enjoy the video. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. So the first thing that we are going to do is open the multi-instance manager, click Android 7.1, do a couple of these so I get two accounts in here. There they are, and then I'm going to select them. I am going to hit start so these will boot up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use their synchronizer. I'm going to open the grid layout, set this to two. Close out these windows. Open the synchronizer. Click start. Click settings. Then come down in here. Turn off the volume so we don't have to listen to that. Hit back. And as you can see, everything I do on the first account, it is also doing on the second account. That's just part of Mimu Synchronizer. And it makes it super easy for us to do a ton of accounts. Uh, at the same time click add account wait for them to boot up hit next paste my password in there hit next come down click I agree down accept And then once that's done, I'm going to just go ahead and go into the Google Play games. Get this updated so that way I don't got to do it later. Wait for it to download. Okay, and then go into the settings. Auto update apps, turn off update apps. This way if the game ever updates, like for Christmas or something, it doesn't break the bot. And shut down the emulators. Let's go ahead and head over to the bot. Find gnbots.exe. Run that as an administrator. Wait for it to connect. All right, go into settings. Click general. And you're going to see the setup. Hit begin find the game that I'm using. If this is your first time using the bot, then you won't have to click show setup. It's just going to show this automatically. All right, I found Mimu. That's what I'm using as an emulator. I'm going to activate my license key. If you don't have one, you can do the trial instead. It works the same. Overcue, settings, general, and there we go. Okay, turn off the fast boot. Go into accounts. Click add a new account and click settings. So this opens up the action editor. I'm going to set my first account as Mimu0. And then these are the tabs I can turn on and activate uh, what I want the bot to do. They're called the actions. So I'm just going to enable a few of these. Find the what I see is the most important ones. Obviously, the more of these that you run, the slower the bot is going to go because it's got to perform more actions. So I'm just going to update the important ones, and I'm going to move a couple of these. You can always shift them up or shift them down based on your priority. So I'm going to put upgrade buildings first to make investments, and then I'm going to adjust some of these settings just to make sure they're good. Daily activities, turn on protect, gems. And turn off arms. Okay, so it should be good. Again, you could put as many of these on um, as you like. Use as many or as less as you want. 
just make sure you go in there and you change all the settings uh, the first time get them perfect because after this I'm going to show you how we can uh, keep from having to do this so as you see you can copy uh, action so if I want two different gather resources all I got to do is right click and hit copy and then also as the last thing you want to do is just set your rules so I'm going to skip this for 240 minutes after it runs before it goes again Let's set this one to skip uh, 720 minutes, add, confirm. And all this does is just tells the bot that it doesn't need to run you know, every time this account runs. Some of these only need to run once a day, some you know, a couple of days. So you're able to create custom rules based on what it is that you want uh, the bot to do. So let's just set uh, one more of these. 120, add, confirm. And okay, let's just go ahead and do this. Make investments 60. All right, so I think we're good. We got this one perfect, so we can close it out. And then I'm going to name the instance. Let's just call this uh, Mafia One. And then I'm going to add a new account. So Mafia One's good. Let's name this one Mafia Two. Click settings. So as you can see, everything's uh, started from fresh. What I want to do is select Mafia 1, Mafia 2, right click, apply to selected, copy from Mafia 1. And now when I go into Mafia 2, all of them are already set. So everything I did in Mafia 1 is now connected to Mafia 2. I'm going to turn Mafia 2 on, and then now I'm going to run the health check. So this right here is just going to fix all the... Uh, Memu settings to make sure they are good the way the bot wants. Give it a minute and then it should run through and change all those. There we go. Close it out. And I'm going to run that on the second one too. Green arrows and close. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install the app. Click the puzzle icon. Wait for Memu to boot. Checking app, downloading app. So what this is doing is it's just installing uh, Mafia City. It'll install whatever game it is you play. So if it's Last Shelter or you know King of Avalon, whatever it is, it's going to install that game based on uh, which game you set for that account. All right, that one's done. So I'm going to close it. There you see it, Mafia City. Close that one out. I'm going to go ahead and install it on Mafia 2. There it is, and close that one up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and open uh, the multiple instance manager. Hit start, so it's going to boot both of those accounts. I'm going to change my grid layout to 4, hit OK. Open up my synchronizer close out these ads hit start and now when I open Mafia City it's gonna boot the game for me there you go now we are at the initial install tutorial for the game Go ahead and click through all of these. Depending on your game, this is going to be different, but basically we just have to get it to where we can uh, load our actual game accounts that we have. All right, so now that we've completed that little basic tutorial they make you do, go to settings, go to account, switch accounts, and now I can actually connect my Google account uh, all this is going to do is link to the two Gmails that I have. Perfect. There we go. Let's close these out. And there we go. My accounts are loaded in there, as you can see. Close those out. Shut down the emulator. And now we are just inside the bot. Everything should be set up correctly. 
I'm going to go ahead and raise my number of accounts running at once to two. Save those. And now I am going to turn on Fastboot, save, and press play. Once that one finishes, it boots my second account. Now I put up two of these because I put the number of accounts running at once to two. You, we only want to add one account running at once per like 25 accounts. So if I only had two accounts, there'd really be no reason for me to set that to two because they would be running way too often um, and you don't want that. So remember that the bot will rotate through unlimited accounts, hundreds of them. So if you have 300 accounts, the bot will just go through them one at a time. Uh, the first one will run and then it'll close it down and open the second one. If you set that number of accounts running at once to too high, like let's say you set it to four, not only are your accounts going to be running too often, but then your computer resources are going to get drained faster and there's a good chance that you're going to lock up your computer or the bot's just not going to run well. So make sure you're only setting um, that running at once to as many as your PC can handle or that makes sense for how many accounts you have. So as you can see here, the bot is running. Basically, we just set up uh, two accounts. You could do this for you know four at a time, like I said, if you really wanted to, but usually I just do two at a time. Once I get all those booted up, if I have 25 accounts, then I'll just set that running at once to one, uh, maybe two if I'm playing a game where there's a lot of things that happen often. Um, but if I have 50 accounts, then I'll set it to two. You know, if I get up to 100, I might set it to three or four. And again, it just depends on what game I'm playing and then how often I need those to run. But we don't recommend going above four because that is your number of accounts running at once. That is not how many accounts you have. So if I had 100 accounts in there, the bot could totally do it going with one account running at once and just go all the way down the list. So that's how it works. Super easy. Um, again, it just takes a, a little bit of time just to set them up uh, originally. And using that Mimu synchronizer, you can do that pretty easily and get, you know, uh, at least a head start, not having to do each one on its own. Um, but once you're set up again, it's, it's super simple from here. Now, every time I go in, I can just hit play and the bot is going to uh, start running those through how I have it set up. So that's it. It's pretty simple. You can run as many accounts as you want. Hopefully you guys have an outstanding rest of your week and happy botting with the new GN Bots 5.